Module 3, Activity and Participation. What is activity and participation? The ICF defines activities as completion of tasks that we do every day. For example, walking, talking, playing, and eating. Participation means to be involved in life situations. For example, walking to move around, to play, or to go to school, and talking to develop relationships with family and friends. What are the challenges with activity and participation in cerebral palsy? To better understand this, let us meet Sarah. Sarah has weak leg and back muscles, an impairment to the brain, which her body structure and function challenges. Sarah's body structure and function challenges make walking and talking difficult for her. This is called activity limitation in ICF. The activity limitation leads to her non-participation in social activities, like going to school, which is called participation restriction in ICF. What can Sarah's parents do to promote Sarah's activity and participation? We want to think about how best to encourage and enable Sarah to play, go to school and have fun with family and friends. Medical care and therapists can help Sarah move around by providing supports like a motorized wheelchair. To help Sarah talk, she can type on her computer talker that will sound out the words for her family and friends. Therapy in this case enhances both mobility and communication. Using her wheelchair and her computer, Sarah can go to school and learn new things, make new friends and play with them, and can engage in experiences similar to other children of her age. Participation in school and community life will help Sarah become more active and independent, and may help improve her body structure and function. Increased independence will boost Sarah's self-confidence and self-esteem and will help her and her family to achieve a better quality of life. To learn more about ways to increase your child's participation in home and community, please see the next module on contextual factors.